Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM. I am C A Anujalota. We are here for you. We are here to answer every question that you might be having about SCPM. That is the only subject that I am catering to for C A final. But then in my subject, I try to cater to everything. that might be coming in paper 6 also that is multidisciplinary please do remember that first two or three attempts icai uh is going to be a learning curve for icai also so most of the things that you will be getting in paper 6 okay might be from your module but then things will start to be changing once icai has gained its experience okay so concepts will help you no mug up so don't try to think of this subject as only like you know for your self paced paper this will also be useful and further if you are going to be doing studies like acca or other subjects or other courses like mba up and so on also every chapter over here will start to come back over there so it's going to be a good thing and this is all business okay to be very honest 50% of whatever you're going to be learning this is pure common sense if you love business thrills excitement risk uncertainties rewards of business then this is a subject that is meant for you my dear friend let's start it off just before i start two things like always you want to be enrolling for my complete course see the link below in the description and uh, join my telegram channel and the group for the updates for this subject let's start it off is going to be interesting thing today a startup goes through three main phases while transforming into a unicorn what do you mean by unicorn let's just see that and then into incumbent okay incumbent means in established company Unicorn is a phase that you might have heard of. I think a company. I'll just say that each phase involves a unique sort of fitment to be ensured. Which of the following are not such among the fitment? See, there is a there is a stage like you know that a company starts. Then it becomes a unicorn. Unicorn, I think so, is a company. whose valuation has touched 1 billion dollars okay that is whatever is meant by the term uh, unicorn and then it becomes incumbent there is a established company like you know whereby now there is no uncertainty uh, regarding that company example if you talk of say india if you talk of say any sector if i'll say say pharmaceutical company okay so one company that comes to my mind is something is a company called as sun pharma i don't know you all have heard or not but is the largest player in this segment okay so it is a incumbent now is a established company if suppose like you know you want to park your money somewhere suppose you have excess money you want to invest in some shares then sun pharma is a very less risky company you can always invest over there same thing goes with reliance also now it is a established company it is a incumbent okay but those guys are saying a startup goes through three main phases okay three main phases while transforming into a unicorn so from startup to unicorn is a big journey okay and this is whatever like you know will drive the company further into becoming a established company later on but to convert from startup to unicorn what are the three phases okay and they are saying that uh, which of them is not part of these three phases okay so you all have scale fit you all have problem solution fit you all have scope fit and then you all have product market fit now let me directly start away with the explanation that will be far better okay now there are three stages that a startup will be going through the first one is called as pre startup stage is also called as problem solution fit let's talk of a company like say ola many times i have given this example but then this will be slightly more detailed when ola had started they all thought there is some problem what is that problem that a normal person who wishes to travel is taking his car out there is a problem in cities like uh, mumbai to park driving is a problem when you are driving you might not uh, be able to talk on phone you might not be able to operate the laptop keeping driver is expensive but then taking taxis is also a problem because if suppose like you know there is no app okay then around 10 years back how do you call a taxi wala to your house okay how many numbers of taxi you all will have so therefore they had a problem they had a solution to it okay and what was that try to develop a app that links the drivers with uh, those people who wish to travel okay and ola will be a medium in middle over here so therefore 
This is the problem solution fit stage. Vision and ideas are conceptualized while considering who will be the customers, what are their problems, what need to be solved and how these will get solved. That's exactly what I told. Customers are people like us who wish to be traveling. What are their problems? We don't get a taxi. Okay. And if we get a taxi also, these guys charge any rates to us. How will this be solved? There should be a standardization. Okay. So if I can know the rates in advance, that will be far, far, far better. So this is the first thing. Okay. There's a first stage of a startup trying to become a unicorn. Okay. Second stage. Second stage is startup stage, whereby you are actually starting now. This is a product market fit stage. It starts to show commitment intended to have customer validation and the product that is offered in market is a valuable product. Testing also is performed to get the feedback from the clients and iterate the process accordingly. This is a second stage whereby you have launched the product in the market. Okay. This is a stage whereby you are interacting with the customers. This is where cash flow also starts to be coming to some extent. And this is also your learning stage. Okay. Whereby you take the feedback from the customers and then in this case, like, you know, try to, uh, respond to their needs example i will tell you when ola had started okay it was a very simple thing that uh suppose like you know you want to book a taxi okay so therefore you book a taxi on ola app and ola communicates this thing to the driver then driver will call you your personal number gets shared with the driver now that was not very good for ola also because next time you might contact that driver directly okay and he might give you a better rate as compared to ola that's very obvious right okay because he'll have to be paying some commission to ola so therefore those guys like you know we start to be learning okay we start to be making an app which is far more friendly. So therefore the initial apps did not know this thing that how far is a taxi when uh, Ola had started. So therefore then we keep on calling. Bhaiya kitta time ke andar ga, idhar wait karta hai both se. So accordingly in this case the app started to become far better. You started to come to know in how much time he will be reaching. You started to know where he has reached. Okay. Isn't he going the wrong way up and so on? Okay. Then they made a SOS button also in case of the emergency. It had happened to me once. Okay. The driver that I had from uh, Ola, he was drunk. Okay. And we were about to go up. So therefore, then I pressed that button. So after some time, like, you know, I made him stop and some people came and they took over the car from him. So there are things like, you know, this is a product market state the second stage whereby actually the implementation starts okay and then is a third stage this is a scale fit stage what do you mean by scale fit stage we try to be thinking like you know how much big we want to be becoming we are now attracting lot amount of customers we are now becoming big okay and we are almost close to becoming a unicorn over here this is the last stage now this last stage will make you reach till the unicorn status so this is called as a scale fit stage. You should always be knowing like, you know, that what is the scale that you would like to be operating at? Okay. Like say Ola, when it started, it was not there in many cities, but then overall after some period of time, once their processes become, uh, became better, they started to expand, expand, expand. They all became very, very, very big. That very big ultimately had led them <coughs> to get like, you know, a kind of a trustworthy name also. Yes, everybody does not have great experience each and every time they ride, but overall the things are working out. And honestly, there are only two companies in, in India, like, you know, who all have become big in the taxis. One of them is Ola, one of them is Uber. And we know that Uber is a foreign company. Okay. So this is a last stage as such. Now coming back to the question out of these three, if you all saw my last three presentations, you all will understand scale fit stage. This is the last stage. Problem solution fit stage. This was the first stage beta. Okay. That is pre startup stage. Then fourth one product market stage. This is a second stage product market stage. Okay. So one thing that is not fitting over here is called as a scope fit. Okay. There is no stage called as scope fit stage. Okay. So that should be the correct answer. Okay. Yeah, that is the correct answer. This lecture is all together done. I hope that you are, you are finding these lectures uh, useful for your studies and for your general knowledge also. Okay, these things like, you know, they are very easy. And honestly, if you know about them, it's good to be talking with your friends. Like, you know, what do you mean by unicorn and all these? These are the normal terms that we all try to be listening to these days. Okay, that's it. If you scan this QR card that is there on your screen right now, it will take you to a playlist that has all my videos of SCPM, all the MCQs that I've shot till now. Okay. 
I'll see you all next time. One request, make all these videos, this playlist reach to the right audience. That is one thing that I'm expecting from the audience who is watching all these particular lectures. It takes, to be very honest, one big effort each and every day. One MCQ takes approximately two to three hours from the beginning stage to the ending stage. Okay, that is the shooting of the video, the editing of the video, making it reach to you all. So ensure that like, you know, we all get some kind of a motivation that we are doing correct work. Okay. Okay. And uh, thank you so much. I'll see you all next time. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit. Bye.